Oh, sh there's a jet. I love the Torrance Tower. Weird sh going on. Okay, Harrison, use the runway, not the taxiway. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, you are. Very it's, nice. Look at me, darling. I'm buzzing every single one today. This is what happens if you porpoise the aircraft. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Wayne from Sling here. Uh, I was talking to one of our examiners just a few weeks ago, Jake, and he mentioned that there was a trend that people were starting to land a lot more on all three wheels. And I'm not sure if you all know, but the only, the only wheels we should be landing on are the main gear, and then we should be choosing when to gently touch down the nose gear. So we thought we'd do a video on it, show people how you should be landing. I'm really interested in your feedback as to uh, what you think about the video, so please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy the video. Clear prop. Uh, oh, you know what? I'll just pull out in the middle so I'm not in the way. I don't think anyone's yeah. flying. I mean, this works fun. Oh, sh there's a jet. <laughs> you gave me an actual Nine, fright. Two niner. <laughs> okay, I'll try and do less so of that during this flight. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. We haven't flown together for a while. Yeah. So we're just gonna stay in the traffic pattern and f around a bit. Yeah, we'll just do some landings. Uh, Torrance Ground Experimental Sling 135 Whiskey Tango pumps for runway 290 right with Alpha. Experimental <laughs> Sling 135 Whiskey Tango Torrance Ground and a 290 right taxi via Echo Alpha Juliet. Echo Alpha Juliet to 290 right, thanks for Whiskey Tango. Welcome. So polite. Yeah, very good. I love the Torrance Tower. Torrance, how we love you. Hey, Echo Alpha Juliet, I think I remember. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, we've got, we've got a pretty uh, crazy, like we've got, we're gusting, what was it, 22 or something, and yeah. uh, uh, some pretty wild crosswinds, so yeah, it's a good day for landing practice. This is when we should be out. Oh, there's, there's Evan. Shout out to Evan Brunei, great sling TSI builder, came to visit today. Uh, Torrance Tower Experimental Sling 135 Whiskey Tango at uh, 29 right for closed traffic. Sling uh, 5 Whiskey Tango, make a uh, right, close traffic. Traffic will be helicopter landing at the north path, runway 29 right, clear for takeoff. Thank you, 29 right, uh, close traffic, clear for takeoff, 5 Whiskey Tango. Alright. Okay, hey, you're in control. Nice. Zero. This is going to be fun. Always fun. Yes. I would say just... Tango, extend down when I'll call you B. Extend down, Lynn, you'll call my base. Fly with Ski Tango. Wait, that's why we're... Lynn 260 at 10, gust 1-9er. Oh! Excellent, that's nice. We're going to have a load of fun. The main thing is ready set to line, so we don't have excursions. Yep. Fly with Ski Tango, base approved, runway 2-9er left, clear to land. Base approved, 2 9 left, clear to land, thanks. Fly with Ski Tango. Okay, so we're a smidge high, but we've got some decent bad winds, so I love to see what you do there, where you Bravo, keep feeding the stick to the trip, you know? So important. Over the, uh, yeah, look, I can let go right now. I won't exactly. do it for too long, but... Exactly. But, <laughs> but it's there. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, not yeah, putting yeah, inputs against the speed. It's perfect. Yeah. Funny gusts there. Yeah. Oh, sh**. That wasn't the best demo. Is your, is your power so all the way up? Yeah. Right okay. I got a little gust yeah. at the end there. Yeah. Okay, well that was a good start. <laughs> We're going to get some variety. You did that all on purpose. Okay. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so the reason we're doing this video is that we were talking to one of our examiners and he was saying there's a real trend right now for people not to be just landing on the rears. Like a lot of people coming in quite flat. Uh, and he wasn't just talking about us, he was talking about just schools, you know, flat pilots in general. Flat and doing that. Yeah. Like not finishing off the landing, nice. Yeah, so what we what we want to do is do a nice video to demonstrate how you should land. We, we chose the best day for it. <laughs> yeah. Today is the most difficult weather to actually pull off a really beautiful landing, so we're going to try it. That's it worked out. Well, keep flying, keep flying. There we go, five, keep the nose wheel up. There you go, cool. Nose wheel's full up. Okay. Oops. Okay, this is going to be a beautiful landing on the back wheels. Nice. Oh, oh my god, that's nice. <sighs> and Torrance Tower, can we make this a full stop, Fibers Kitanga? Sling 5 with Kitanga, I'm a 2 9 left, clear to land. Sling 5 with Kitanga, I'm a 2 9 left, clear to land. Okay, so this will be a real nice one. See how far you can take to the front wheel off the ground. Okay. Weird going on. 
Yeah, you did perfect. Nice and back strong. Yeah, you're f***ing perfect. I mean, can you want it more perfect than that? <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. And I've worked the rudder a smidge as well. It, it's a good day for this video. So even though it's a bit yeah. gnarly and it would have been nice to have beautiful winds and show some some nice uh, landings, it's also good to be out in some of this weather. You know, just making sure that you gently touch it down on the on the rear wheels. What we're really trying to demonstrate here is that uh, we're only landing on the rear wheels. Right, so in a little bit here, we'll get Sean to do some really beautiful landings. Cause He's the maestro. Now you're putting the pressure on. <laughs> I can't do them better than you're doing them now. You're doing them perfect. Okay, Harrison, use the runway, not the taxiway. <laughs> I see you itching to take the stick there. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, you are. I'm just reading. <laughs> perfect. Wow. Looking wild here. Four stars, thing is just one here. Okay, we got a right downwind. They want to see our Lima right down and report your proof. Okay, nice so, nice so there you go. Even with wild crosswinds and uh, you know, we can still put it down on the rear, yeah. reconfigure, take off. Okay, you want to take over? Show us how it's really done. It's, now you're putting on the putting on the pressure. It should. That's the way it should be. Well, wait. Considering that you have flown a lot lately, you're right in the groove. So when we flew in South Africa, Sean, if we if we put the nose wheel down and he hadn't told us, he would slap our hand. And it was fantastic. Let's get the s*** out of me the first time he did it. Uh, pretty straight on now. Gaz, Gaz, Sean's did a perfect one. Uh, still got some power, Gaz, Sean. Oh, there you. Oh, that's it. Give it. Wow, you've got right really strong crosswind right now. Yeah, so I'm quite coming quite slow. Slower. Landing on the left wheel. I'm going to try and do it again. Left, right. Land it twice. Yeah. Look pretty gnarly. This is the most I've crabbed down here ever. Can we have a wind check for five inch tanker? 2507. That's definitely dropped. Yeah. See, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I told you I can't fly. <laughs> I think it's just just really uh, weird winds right now. Yeah. I don't know, you know, the thing about landing for me has always been people say, oh, if the wind's strong, um, I don't use full flaps. It's something I'm trying to get my head around because, I mean, why would you want to land fast in a crosswind? Yeah, that's true. You know, look, look we didn't even think about it. We used full flaps. Oh, yeah. yeah. The stick should be on a ratchet. Yeah. As you're coming in the land, you should only there's be there's pulling it back. Yeah. You don't want to plonk it down and then drop the nose. <laughs> yeah. You know, those two <laughs> double landings I've done, even though I let it touch a bit early, I didn't push the stick forward. I just waited and then I carried on getting back until it bled off energy and yeah. landed again. So if anyone's got comments, tell us if you think we're we're doing or saying the yeah. right things, the wrong things, leave us a, leave us a comment. Exactly. Yeah. Tell us how it should be done. And then, if you think you can do better, come. If you can fly the airplane yeah. for free, this time we're coming a little bit faster. Yeah, let's plot this one out now a little bit more. Right for two zero and land on the left wheel. Two zero Julie, thanks. And you're number two following a Bonanza now, mile and a half final. We're looking for that traffic, two zero Julian. So we can put the wheel down slowly. We can do that. Up and oh wow, the wind's just it's dropped all together. Completely, yeah. So oh, wild. A little bit of a left crosswind. Did it still gust? Yeah. <laughs> I'm bombarding every single one today. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a good idea, yeah, just putting a, a little power in to keep it on the yeah. roll. Yeah. If a bird did uh, maintain angle of attack, maintain angle of attack and leap, leap back further as it came down and, and slowed its airspeed, it'd smash its face in the ground. Yeah. And that's exactly what we're trying to avoid. We don't yeah. want to get a bounce on the front wheel or yeah. put any kind of real pressure on the front wheel because it's 
Front wheels for taxing. For taxing, yes. So if you've seen our videos before and you've seen Jean coaching someone through a landing, you've probably heard him say, fly it out, fly it out, keep flying, keep flying. And the idea there is you want to bleed off as much energy as possible before you land. So the aircraft should just be gently settling onto the runway uh, by itself. You should absolutely be landing on the rear wheels first, as we mentioned, and then gently touching down the nose gear. Now, one of the main reasons why we do this is we want to avoid a porpoising incident. A porpoising incident is when you come into land and instead of coming down on the rears, you bounce on the front wheel, and then you get into bigger and bigger oscillations until the nose gear buckles. The nose gear is actually designed to buckle to absorb excess energy from one of these porpoising incidents. We've got a great video of a Piper Warrior doing exactly that. The alternative is, the moment that, that the nose wheel bounces, you give it full throttle and go around. So if you even think that you're getting into a porpoising incident, full throttle and go around. Follow along as we review some of our student landings. So what I like to look for when I'm uh, looking at landings is um, I want to see people bleed off. That was a little bit of a flat landing, the nose wheel dropped right away. But I like to see people coming in at the right speed. Uh, the reason you want to come in at a low speed and energy is because uh, we're trying to save the airplane, we're not trying to crash into the ground. And um, what you want to see is, there's another three pointer. What you want to see is someone holding the airplane off, touching down on the mains, coming in at the correct pitch attitude, not carrying too much energy. And then that was too much energy. The nose wheel hit first, a little bit of a bounce. Uh, they weren't at the correct speed and pitch attitude. And then you want to... A little no, bit of... Another three-pointer. And then what you want to see is uh, the nose wheel being held off the ground. Uh, the nose wheel is uh, not, not a landing wheel. It's, it's more for taxiing. So a good pilot will finesse the nose wheel slowly onto the ground. A little bit too much energy once again. Three-pointer and a bounce that time. <clears throat> That was a great landing. Touchdown on the mains, holding off the nose wheel, uh, bleeding off the energy. Uh, real nice landing. So there we have a balloon, a little bit too much energy. Let's see if they can get it down. Up, oh, and one wheel coming up again. That was definitely a, a landing that they carried a little bit excess speed. Uh, but at, in the end, they did a real good job of it and held the nose wheel off and touched down on the mains. So nothing wrong with uh, fixing it and working it out and making it turn out well. Nice. That, wow. that was a beautiful landing, yeah. That was great. Great low energy, good pitch, pitch attitude and touchdown on the mains. So what these guys are all doing is coming down and trying to get the plane on the ground rather than spending time getting rid of the energy in ground effect. That was a great landing. They had a little bit of excess speed and energy, but they had patience, uh, kept flying the airplane, let it off, and there goes the nose wheel. Uh, perfect touchdown, uh, real great landing. Looks like the same guy coming in again. Let's see if they can uh, do another good one like that. And there it is again, great touchdown on the mains, good directional control. And Very nice. Yeah. Slowly load the nose wheel down. Working it out, a little bit of gusts. Wow, great touchdown, and there goes the nose wheel. That was a great landing. Yeah, stuck with it, and really that did a nice job. Now, this, this is what happens if you porpoise the aircraft. <laughs> <laughs> the alternative is, the moment that, that the nose wheel bounces, you give it full throttle and go around. Uh, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. It really helps us with our channel. We really appreciate it.